Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Gayla Tia Strong. After getting 100% on my NPTE, I co-founded SPT with me, which is designed to help DPT students who are just about to take their NPTE actually understand everything versus memorizing. If you like our content, check out sptwithme.com for our three and six hour course. Now, for what you're actually here for, let's talk about Wallerian degeneration. There are a ton of physiological processes that you could spend your time memorizing, like the involvement of macrophages, changes in the diameter of the nerve cell, changes in the conduction velocity of the nerve. Now that's all good to know, but honestly, it's a lot of information. Let's just keep it simple for what you actually need to know for the MPTE. So your nerve gets damaged. It could have been from a fall, it could be a traction injury, someone got shot or stabbed, it doesn't matter. Just know that the nerve is injured. This process only occurs if the axon of the nerve is injured. So let's do an example. Let's say that this injury just happened. Your cell just got cut in half. So the part just proximal to the injury dies off. Now, depending on how close the injury is to the cell body, the cell body could be affected as well. However, what really dies off and gets eaten up and cleared out is the distal aspect of the cut, what's distal to the cell body. And this is because there's no supply coming from the cell body to this region. So this part is essentially useless, so the body eats it up, right? However, your body doesn't eat everything up. So what's left over is the endoneurium, which is the sheath around the cell, along with the Schwann cells. The Schwann cells that are left over, they actually multiply and they grow in order to facilitate some sort of direction of where the nerve should grow. So this regrowing process is much like that, honestly, of a succulent. So if you rip it off, it can sprout again, right? Same thing happens with this proximal segment. This is a super, super slow process. It goes at the rate of about a millimeter a day, equivalent to about an inch a month. So super slow, but honestly, it's just better than nothing. So let's say the regeneration process is done. Now, the reality is, and you should probably tell your patient, the reality is, is that this structure will never be as strong as it once was. Just like if you twist your own ankle, right? The structures can heal to an extent. However, they might not be as strong as they once were. Once again, you can make this studying piece very complicated, but I'm hoping that this lecture kind of cleared up the important pieces of information that actually pertain to what you'll need to know for the NPTE. If you like the content, check out our three and six hour mini course on sptwithme.com to figure out what you actually need to know for the test. Check out this reference if you want some more information.